Professor Hawking, how important is the detection of gravitational waves? I would like to congratulate the LIGO team on their groundbreaking discovery. These results confirm several very important predictions of Einstein's theory of general relativity. It confirms the existence of gravitational waves directly. Until now, our observations of the universe have exploited light, radio waves, and other electromagnetic radiation. Gravitational waves provide a completely new way of looking at the universe. The ability to detect them has the potential to revolutionize astronomy. This discovery is the first detection of a black hole binary system and the first observation of black holes merging. The observed properties of this system is consistent with predictions about black holes that I made in 1970 here in Cambridge. The area of the final black hole is greater than the sum of the areas of the initial black holes, as predicted by my black hole area theorem. The properties of these black holes are also consistent with the black hole no hair theorem, which says that they should be uniquely characterized by their mass and spin. Previous tests of general relativity have almost exclusively applied to weak gravitational fields. This discovery lets us test the predictions of general relativity when the gravitational field is strong and highly dynamical during the black hole merger. This discovery also presents a puzzle for astrophysicists. The mass of each of the black holes are larger than expected for those formed by the gravitational collapse of a star. So how did both of these black holes become so massive? I am sure the LIGO team are going to keep us busy with many further surprises. You say that it's going to revolutionise astronomy. What kind of things could we discover if we scan the skies for gravitational waves? Apart from testing general relativity, we could hope to see black holes throughout the history of the universe. A cosmic distance ladder using these black holes would be extremely accurate and complement existing distance ladders based, for example, on supernovas. From neutron star mergers, we will learn about the equation of state of matter at supernuclear densities. We may even see relics of the very early universe during the Big Bang at the most extreme energies possible. Professor Hawking, thank you very much.